In this video we're going to review this new model Clarion which is the NX603. This model replaces the 2012 model which was called the NX602. This is a big difference from the prior model so this is a review definitely worth watching if you are looking at the NX602 or NX702 perhaps. Going forward this model here, the NX603 and is also another model which I'm going to talk about a little later which is a similar model but a step down without the GPS these models feature all app mania I mean it's, it's crazy it's app everything um, these these units are very unique um, in a couple different met methods uh, Clarion is one of the first two manufacturers to premier HDMI control and mirror link which is similar to how Sony's um, works as well as Pioneer's but this one is in itself its own cloud based totally unique um, inherent features to Clarion and I'm going to touch on that as well uh, but as I always do I always go you know the old outside around and show you what's going on and what you can expect to see if you do choose to go out and get yourself one of these um, right here we have a trim ring very small not a whole lot there to go over clicks on okay because I did check that out and I like that um, as with most things these days they give you an owner's CD-ROM, which you would put into your computer. You can't play it on the screen of, of the unit if you were wondering. No, you can't be that lazy. You do actually have to go put that on a computer. And this covers the NX603, which is the better of the two uh, models that Clarion just came out with, as well as the FX503, which is a step-down piece, which I was talking about. Um, and again, I'll go into a little bit more detail on that, but not a whole lot because this review covers the Premier model, which is the one that most people want to know about, the NX603. Now here two harnesses. One here is for the audio video input output and of course the traditional RCA preamp harness. Six, six RCAs front, rear and sub. One pair per hardware kit for the GPS. Nothing really exciting there. They even give you these little rubber buttons to cover RCAs you don't use. So that's pretty cool. Over here they got about a three foot USB extension cable. ISO DIN mounting hardware. Nothing exciting there. Manual warranty cards, the usual, and of course the GPS antenna. Real quick as far as those guys who got to know everything about the technical stuff, this unit here is 6 and 15 sixteenths, very close to 7 inches in overall width. You got 3 and 14 sixteenths, if you just want to play it safe, it's 4 inches in height. Typical of any double DIN unit. And up here we got Six and a half, but once you add in the connections in the rear of the unit, which you see back there, the real depth is seven inches. And that's actually about a quarter inch less than I see on most units that I review. So that's what we're talking about. All right, I'm going to set this down. I'm going to go over what you can expect to see in the back of your unit if you should get one. Hang on. Okay, so for my own demo mode purposes, that's the reason why you see these two plugs, but just for the heck of it, I'll take them out to help you see what, what it is that I'm trying to explain. I have this GPS plug already in there, which is the same exact plug as it was from the NX602, 702 last year, in case you were wondering for whatever reason. Say if you were upgrading from last year's and you just want to pull it out and do a direct plug-in into the new 2013 version, you can do that. There's the plug. You can do it. So right there, the typical square gray dealy. That's the old Clarion GPS plug. Now over here, this is something I'd really like to uh, mention. I actually looked in this radio as well as a couple others that I just um, got in for our, you know, an initial stock order. And this here is the plug for the camera. I noticed that it's omitted from all of them. And nowhere did I see any information regarding that. But that camera plug right there, I'm guessing must be some kind of proprietary plug for Clarion. Maybe I'll find out more information and I'll, you know, throw up a little message over this video as the information comes in to me. But right now, I don't know what to say. I really don't. I'm guessing that it's proprietary. I'm not sure yet. But definitely worth notating. And over here, like I was saying, you have this plug, which is your typical black, purple, and gray, which are your RCA preamp outputs. That plug will go right there like so. And over here you have your video output, your video in, and your audio input, which would be the other white RCA preamp harness right there. 
to the right side we see the typical 16 pin clarion harness which was you know been around forever nothing exciting going on there over here we have a plug for the SXV200 which would be the Sirius XM satellite radio tuner should you have the service or if you're going to plan on adding it in that's where you would do that right over here you have a plug now this plug here uh, again note is a mic plug this unit does not come with a microphone which would be the RCB176 if I'm thinking right which is a clarion mic um, but this unit has a built-in microphone right in the unit so it's not necessary that you have to get one or add it for to make your Bluetooth or your voice communications any better because in most scenarios it's going to be mounted in the middle of your dash and it should work just fine but if you need it to be better that's where you uh, plug it in Then over here this is really where the magical stuff happens and this is something that is new Clarion just jumped on this real fast um, it, it's shocking to me when, I, when I'm starting to see this new stuff come out what crazy shit these people are coming out with now over here you have an HDMI plug and this here is basically for the mirror link feature and that's going to be for Androids and some of the iPhone stuff. I'm going to touch on, on some of that. I'm not going to get crazy because it is a lot to handle especially for the first time in the first year I'm ever seeing this, this stuff but I'm going to give you a good grasp and a good idea of what it is, how it works and why it's there. So HDMI cable gets plugged right into there and that's going to be utilized for using linked apps utilizing Clarion's proprietary software um, it does vary what you can use while you're in drive mode, when you're in park mode. There's a little bit to go into. I'm not going to get crazy, but I'm going to touch on it so that we at least you have a better education of what it is um, at the end of the video. Up here is just a standard analog um, AM FM tuner plug, so nothing really crazy going on there. You know, your typical stuff for if you got to mount the radio so somebody doesn't yank it out of your dashboard right there. Typical layout for ISO mount screws on the side. So that's that. And back to the old front. So right now, I want to turn it on. I want to show you what you can expect to see and what this unit can actually do. Okay, get. so here we are at the home screen of the NX603. And if you're familiar with the prior year's model, very similar, except the icons that used to be on the 602 used to go left and right used to swipe and it used to be a little bit of a drag between your finger and the actual swipe so what they did is they did improve on the touch panel and how it responded and I'm going to show you that because I think that's worth talking about so right here you see that there's an arrow and as you hit it it's going to shake all your, your sources and toggle them up and down and you cannot do it this way any longer they got rid of that because they knew it was a problem um, enough people apparently complained or their engineers just said hey this could definitely be better and I totally agree it could have been a better idea however hey you can't think of everything when you're putting one of these things together I mean certainly who could so so what they got now is a settings button here the smart access which is entirely new and that's a, a whole new thing I'm gonna have to talk about um, and your sources so your main stuff you can still customize the main stuff they figured by default because a lot of people don't take advantage of modifying and customizing their, their stereos although they have infinite power to do so you have your DVD disc which is located here by the way this is a 6.2 inch screen so you have a slot load up there eject button and your icons over there which I'll get to in a second so your first source is your DVD your radio tuner your GPS your Sirius satellite USB iPod and your Bluetooth for phone calling right there on your home screen going down these are some of the lesser used features, at least I think so. Your SD card, which is located right here on the bottom left of the, of the unit. By default, it has an 8 gigabyte uh, card for the GPS, which is factory default built into the unit. Um, and also guarantees the latest lifetime maps, which I'll get into a little bit later. And you have a micro SD slot, so that we can utilize that for your media expansion, for your own files that you're going to put on there. That's how you do it. You got your Pandora, which again is a stream feature through um, your phone and you have your aux 1 and aux 2 which you would feed through of course the RCA cable which I told you about before so that's that now if you're going to use the iPod let me tell you this because I try to tell you like it is this here is a generic iPod cable that we sell um, I'm not special I know that but uh, anybody who sells these things all it is is three RCA's left right audio standard iPod video 
and USB jack. You don't have to go out and get yourself the fancy, you know, buy the book Clarion one with the, the fancy packaging and all the, the BS on it. Just get a regular, you know, iPod RCA USB plug. Use that. It's going to work just as well. A wire is a wire. Um, you're not doing yourself any favor by buying a fancy cable. They still work. Instead of getting their CCA 750s, save your money. Uh, buy yourself something nice. Take your girl out. Do something with yourself. Um, that's just my opinion. Now, your home screen there, settings I want to get into last, smart access, I'll touch on that um, as I talk about it in the background because that's a lot to tackle. Now, these icons are very familiar. Um, your menu button, which does genuinely give you a click when you hit the button. It's nice, it's a smooth feel, I like that. And the menu is going to take you right here what you see. Navi AV is going to take you here. There is your maps. Now, on your maps, this is a whole new mapping system. It's totally unlike anything that you've ever seen or experienced prior. Some of the maps may look very similar, but don't be deceived, it is different. Now, you can do this kind of stuff where you can drag, move things around, and do all this kind of stuff. Maybe not the most exciting thing in the world, right? However, you can do this, and you can move, and you can pull, and you can swipe, and you could really, you know, get crazy with this thing. So it's really kind of like interacting with a tablet, and that's really how a lot of these new units seem to be going. They're so interactive, and they're so touchy-feely now. So it's really cool. Um, I like this. I wish I had stuff like this on my in my own my own car. I'm starting to feel a little bit antiquated. I mean, look at that. Come on, man. I ain't got all that fancy schmancy stuff. Damn these radios. They get too, they're getting too nice. They're making me feel like a loser because my stuff isn't this nice. But look at all this information. Oh my gosh. I mean, this is just. This is crazy. I mean, I've never seen anything so robust in my life. I mean, this is really wild. I like. You got your compass keeping keeping up with you. So in case you get a little crazy there, you hit, just hit the compass. It'll straighten it all out for you so you don't have to get all nuts trying to figure it all out. And icons, you could just go unlimited with the stuff. You could put all your, you know, your typical stuff. Your hospitals, your doctors, places that you go, family, friends, um, hospitals, ATMs, banks, doctors, places you eat, um, POIs, all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's, it's just like it always was, just to an even better degree, I have to say. So the GPS is really something else, man. I like it. It's really nice. Now, when you're on your menu, right, you got your find screen. So you got find the address, which is typical, find places. Well, you see what that looks like. So this does look around. It gives you all the information you could ever hope for. It gives you phone numbers, addresses, hours, what they serve, uh, what kind say if you were looking for a kind of gas I mean what the hours are I mean it's just crazy hotels what time is the concierge there what's the different phone numbers for customer service or check-ins valet I mean you name it I mean I've actually experienced one of these things in in real life I gotta tell you that it's really cool and I'll tell you something else that's really cool about this is when you're actually on a on a trek and you're going somewhere with G GPS you could stop because you have to go pee, if you have to find something to eat, it works phenomenally well, and you can do that all the time. And I find this this particular brand to be much more seamless and much more easy to use than a lot of other ones that I've actually used in my in myself. And I can say that about my own car. This is as good as good as probably going to get. I felt disappointed in my own car when I when I saw what these things can actually do when they're done right. And Clarion really does have that right. Um, the searches are very nice. The graphics are awesome. I mean, you could just see. I mean, this thing is, this thing ain't all messing around. It's nice, and the speed is actually really good too. It's really good. I think it's faster than Navtech. Find on the map. I mean, that's nothing really that exciting. I mean, you could just drag it, move it around, and you know, I don't want to bore you. I'm getting bored just thinking about it. Phone number search. That's a cool feature. Now, this one here typically is not. Um, something you find on a lot of receivers. However, Clarion has it, and I gotta tell you, it's good. The only thing that's not good is that, well, not really not good, but it does not have residential phone numbers. No reason why, because, you know, say if you even tried it here where I live in Florida, there's so many transient people that they, they move before the phone number even gets registered to their address, so who the hell wants that? 
most of the time where you're going, if you don't know, um, you go into an actual physical person's house, they may live next to a McDonald's or down the road from, um, you know, a Taco Bell or whatever the story is, just use that phone number and it gets you within the vicinity close enough. So that's an awesome feature. I know I could say, I could pick on it and say it doesn't have real people's home phone numbers. However, in today's world, how many people just have a cell phone instead of a real home phone? Anyway, you know, think about it. So if you could say good, you could say bad. But you know what? A lot of units don't even have it. So be very glad and thankful that it even does have this feature to begin with. That's cool. I like that. Coordinates, no need to go there. Now these grayed out areas, favorites, history, and home, um, nothing really worth talking about. I don't think anyway. It does have a uh, picture in picture, so that way you can have the maps going on in the background, and you could have, say, your Sirius satellite radio going on, playing attenuation, you know, with the GPS for voice prompts as need be, plus you can have your Bluetooth phone working all simultaneously with this unit. Yes, you can do it. So that's cool. Um, DVD, CD, um, there's no disc and I'm not going to waste my time because it's a disc, you know. Radio tuner, very nice. You can change all these, you know, graphics and stuff, by the way. They kept the old school tuner, analog tuner, you know, thingy, which I liked. I like that. And it's nice. To make your presets easy enough, just hold it in. Bam, there you go. You got six presets in AM. Six, six, and six in FM one, two, and three bands. So you got a total of eight, 18 in all three FM bands, just like every radio for pretty much all time. That's what that's all about. Um, Sirius XM is not connected. However, if it was, you would have three lines of text. It's very nice. You can do scroll, non-scroll, lots of characters, nice colors, contrast, very nice, very well done. I must say, I like it. Uh, navigation, which we touched on already. Um, phone, big block icons, easy, very nice to use. Easy to use, you can upload your entire phone book with the touch of a button, sync multiple phones to this, to this unit very easily. Um, syncing is not a problem. SD card, stick it in. Um, you could have it in there in the background and just toggle it and hit it, turn it on and off through the sources. Bluetooth audio, turn your phone on, click what you got to do, and once the Bluetooth is playing, with the receiver, you can actually use your finger to control what's going on in reverse on the phone side. So that's cool. I don't know if you know, in a lot of videos, it is, it is that way. I've seen we are in the menu settings, and starting off here at the system language, we have three choices, English, French, and Spanish. Okay. I'm English, so I want to stick with that. Main menu icons. You can have simple or you can have active where it'll give you kind of like, you know, animated, you know, things moving and, you know, all that kind of weird stuff. Illumination color, which is going to be this. You can use the presets or you can scan and make your very own color and make it match your interior dash perfectly. And you have presets up to three users. So if you have yourself, you have, say, your wife wants to jump in the car and she doesn't like your choice, she can make her own. That's what it's all about. There you go. Convenient back button to get right back to where you were. Your button beeps, which is self-explanatory. Clock format, 12 or 24 hours. Any theft activation password, which you can uh, set up, which I think is good. System software, so you can check your version and update it, again, through the SD. Um, connectivity, which will tell you for your GPS and other things. Um, restore, restore for the factory settings, and that's pretty much that section. Bluetooth, just connection, in-car settings you know, for volume, what speaker, that kind of thing. Uh, balance fader, nothing really too crazy, you know, just go where you gotta go, center, you know, why even bother talking about it. Next one, loudness control, so that way you can enhance the, the bass response to the lower volume levels. Graphic EQ, you can set this. This is an improvement, if you notice that this is a six band digital EQ with three customized presets. Um, this actually kind of looks a little bit like a G JVC, maybe not as good and robust and interactive, or even as many bars for controls as they have. However, I do like this a lot better than uh, Kenwood, but I don't like it as much as Pioneer, so it's all give and take. But however, you can definitely tune it in and get the sound that you're looking for pretty easily. And another thing with Clarion that Clarion always has, which is really cool, 
is high voltage preamp output. So if you're connecting this to an external amplifier, these things are ass kicking when it comes to that response. They're always very bright and vivid, even without all the, the mumbo jumbo EQ settings. Um, you got this volume smoother feature, which is again a new thing for Clarion. There's your settings, low mid high, virtual bass, which is kind of like a sound expander. Sub control, there's your volume right here and there. There is a couple steps to get to it, but I think that's pretty much the same with just about any stereo, so we can't really say anything good or bad or neutral about it. And down here we have the high pass filters, which are digital, so you can have them through for just natural filter comes in, comes out, or you can turn these on and have, you know, bass blockers done digitally, of course, and you have a low pass filter, which would apply also to the subwoofer, so you can tune your box, set it, say, at 90 hertz or 80 hertz, whatever have you. Your settings for day and night mode, which would be auto setting for most people. You know, when you turn your lights on, the display will dim, so that way you don't get this blinding flashlight in your face when you're driving at night. Your brightness controls, which is always good to have. And over here, your Dibix settings, in-device car linking, if you have an Android or an iPhone, which I wish I didn't hit that button. However, that's going to be another day, another video, another thing. I'm not going to go there right now. So right now what I want to do is I just want to kind of like run through some of these features and let you know what to expect as far as some of the other updated stuff with this unit is to talk about. Okay, so like I said, this is the first year for units like this, having HDMI controls and having some of these mirror link features um, for Androids and iPhones, so bear with me. Um, I don't think myself or anybody is a professional at this yet, but I'm going to do my best to try to explain it to you. I am not going to use an actual phone on this unit to get in there and use all the cloud features and app features. Reason being is because the video would take forever. People would curse me because they'd be sitting here and they're, they would be they would, their butt would be sore by the time I got through going through everything. So I'm just going to go through it real quick. If you really got to see it in action, my advice would be go to the original Clarion's website and let, let them show you a quick overview of the app screen because they got something, I don't know how they made it, but they have it. It's there. And it only takes about three or four minutes. So super quick, this does have a full HDMI slot in the, in the new radios like I showed you. So it can give you a mirror image from Android apps to onto the radio screen. So from there, it uses Bluetooth to control the Android phone. So that way, in theory, it could display and control just about any Android app. Now, for safety reasons, Clarion limits the Android functions that it mirrors to about 11 apps that you can use while driving. But when the car is parked, any Android app can show up on the car radio screen. Now, through HDMI, Users can use the mirror video from an iPhone 5 on car radios, making them some of the first car radios to work with the iPhone 5 video. So, <laughs> wow, I mean right there, I mean that says it all. So, Pioneer has a similar kind of a, of a thing, and if you're obviously looking at my review for this, you might also want to take a second to look at the Pioneer, just because you can, and uh, I definitely think it's worth time educating yourself. However, Apple has not yet created a standard to allow devices to control video on an iPhone 5, so it's not a, not a fully legit kind of a deal yet. So the full-size HDMI slot can be found on the back of this NX603, and it's also going to be on the FX503, which is step, the step-down piece non-GPS that I was talking about earlier. So both the NX and the FX503 control and, and display select iPhone apps through the new Smart, Ac Smart Access Cloud feature. When the user downloads the Smart Access app on the phone, the car radio recognizes the app and connects to the Clarion's cloud server to deliver the app in a format suitable for the screen with seamless control from the radio. Currently, it works with about 14 apps. Smart Access is compatible only with the iPhone 4, 4S, and the Android version should be available later. So, if you have an iPhone 3 or something like that, or a 3, 3GS... No dice. So, Smart Access is, is uh, compatible with those guys right there. So, these guys, 6.2 inch screen. Uh, the screen is a WVGA touchscreen display, of course, as I mentioned. Um, the Pandora is built right into this thing. It's not required to have any kind of special Clarion cloud app because, you know, you just need the Pandora feature and it just works out of the box once it's paired to this unit. Um, and that's really all there is to that. Um, and real quick, I'm just going to touch on some other general features, so that way if I missed it, I'll blurt it out really quick. Um, the new flick operation with how it you know controls with your, with your fingers, which I was talking about a little bit, that's all new. Um, 
the colors on the screen. That's all new audio video inputs. Oh, I think um, I mentioned this one here. I didn't mention there's a 3.5 millimeter jack right on the front of this unit for analog old school people who aren't up with the times. Um, or if you just want to just throw on some whatever cheap basic MP3 player or whatever, you can do it. Uh, 50 watts by 4 built in amplifier, which is peak, of course. RMS, you can expect more like 16, 17 watts RMS. Uh, the, the RCA preamp outputs, as I mentioned, I know I did, because I always do a 4 volt high voltage preamp output, which is excellent. Um, built in EQ, high and low pass filters. It is steering wheel ready as well, so you can connect this with your vehicle's you know, steering wheel controls. Um, you can get an optional, optional wireless remote control for this unit. Um, Bluetooth built in, microphone built in there. Of course, like I mentioned, you can get another one um, done separately. Um, I told you that you can do multi zones with this unit. I mean, aside from that, I mean, really, I think I've I've tackled just about everything there is to talk about this uh, aside from actually utilizing a phone and, and accessing all the apps. Now, the reason why I'm not doing all the stuff with the smart access and the apps is not because I'm cheesy, it's not because I'm lazy, it's because it's new. Um, I would hate to go ahead and show you what I can do and what whatever it is, and by the time I publish this video, like in everything in electronics, it's already antiquated, and that's the old system, and nobody wants that, and then you, people will say, well, how come you don't show me what's current, and your video sucks, and, you know, you're lame, and everything else. I'm not going to go that route. I think I'd just rather leave it to the professionals, people at Clarion, because this stuff changes real fast. So, like I said, check out Clarion's original video for the Smart Apps, Smart Apps on Clarion's website. That's my best advice to you. If I can't do it, I'd rather tell you where to go to get it. And, you know, if you're going to invest a few bucks into a unit like this, I would definitely seriously advise that you do so anyway. So there's my review on the Clarion NX603.